People who get upset when you set boundaries are the ones who benefited the most from you having none. That is something that I learned from my coach. I remember we were working on boundary setting and she asked me to write down a few things that I felt like I needed to be happy, to thrive. And when those things were not there, I felt a certain type of way. I felt uncomfortable. I felt X, Y, and Z. And the one thing I used to tell her was that I am scared of letting the people around me know that this is what I want. This is the way I like to do things. And this makes me uncomfortable. And she asked me why. And I remember saying that I'm scared of how they're going to react. I'm scared that I may find myself in an uncomfortable situation, that I may find myself in a situation that is potentially dangerous or a situation that's unfavorable or friendships would end and relationships would end or jobs would end. And, and she said, what if it does? And I remember thinking, huh, because the whole time I'm you, everyone who does not know how to set boundaries is suffocating themselves, holding things in, holding it in their neck, in their chest, in their gut, right? Whereas it would be easy to just let go and just be, right? Because I realized that I was making myself uncomfortable, trying to make everybody around me comfortable jumping through hoops and doing cartwheels around people and even walking on eggshells in relationships and friendships because I didn't want people to get upset. I didn't want to change the way things were. And I felt like me asking for what I wanted may have felt like too much. And then I realized the people around me do express the things that they want. They do let me know the things that they want and like and don't like. So. I should be able to do the same. I should be able to actually not always want to be the peacemaker. That diplomat is, is very ingrained in me and in, in wanting to make everybody else comfortable. But sometimes, especially with the precious relationships you have, it's important to let people know, right? Sometimes they don't even know and all you have to do is ask. And I did it. And I asked and I jumped and I let them know, hey, when you did this, this actually made me uncomfortable. And they were like, oh, I didn't know, right? Thank you for letting me know. And some of them were like, I could feel there was something off, but I didn't know what it was. And there's that part of us we don't realize, but you may become passive aggressive in the long run because you're tired of holding it in or you've been holding it in so much that now it just it it seeps out of you out of your pores right in the way that you interact with these people in your lives so if there's any advice that i can give you as a newly 30 year old is yeah set those boundaries let people know when things make you uncomfortable let people know the things that you like and don't like right avoid that people pleasing tendency that we have and something i learned is people pleasing is basically fear right people pleasing is you not trusting in yourself right not trusting that what you want is actually okay i'm here to tell you that it is have the courage have the confidence speak up say what you need do the things you need to do to make yourself at ease and be peaceful and avoid hindering other people in the process right because you will feel so much better so much lighter once that is out and the people around you will thank you for it right they will thank you for being honest with them and if they get angry if they get aggressive if they switch up on you then it just means that they were happy with the status quo they were happy with you walking on eggshells they were happy with you doing cartwheels for them doing everything for them whilst 
they just benefited and they just took and took and took. Especially for you people out there that are givers. Some of you, I see you. Stop it and see how they react. Are they getting angry? Are they all of a sudden switching up on you because you're finally setting your boundaries? Then maybe that wasn't the right relationship for you. Maybe that wasn't the right dynamic for you. Your people will be happy to oblige. Your people will be happy to respect you. You will not have to be scared anymore to say the things you want to say, to be how you want to be, right? Obviously in a respectful way. So just do it. And like I said, if they get angry, if they get pissed off, if they start moving differently, when you finally set those boundaries, then it means that they were benefiting from you having none in the first place. So yeah, set those boundaries and let me know how that goes in the comments. I am Linda Foinding and that's what I had to say for today. If you would like some coaching sessions with me, please let me know. I am offering 15 minutes lunch bag, free coaching to get to know each other and see if this is a relationship that can work. I am a leadership and performance coach. I help you get that work-life balance, remove that inner critic, and step into the wisest part of yourself so that you can finally design your life and live the life that you always dreamed of and that you deserve. All right, talk to you soon.